I'm excited. Are y'all excited? Okay. This is just amazing to see all of your beautiful faces. I want to give you a compliment. When I checked into the hotel last night, they said, these kids we love, they're the best, they're the most well-behaved. Give yourselves a hand for that. That's awesome. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. How many of you have ever been in a tomato fight? Nobody? Let me see, anybody? Oh, let me, oh, good, good, good. So I'll tell you, my daddy was a tomato farmer down on Johns Island outside of Charleston. And after the third time he would pick his tomatoes, he would let me and my classmates go into that tomato field. And y'all, we had the most bodacious tomato fight. We were just covered. And it was so much fun. But then there was Douglas. He's that one person that's going to do something funny, weird. Y'all know him. I know you have a Douglas somewhere in your life. So Douglas would find the most immature green tomato and sling it at me. Always hit me in the back. But something else hit me in the head, that people are going to throw tomatoes at your field of dreams. You know why? Because you're outstanding. You're going to work hard and make it happen. Not everybody will, but a lot of people will try to. And I remember watching my daddy come in from that tomato field, and I'd watch the market prices drop. I saw hailstorms take the crop. But my mom and daddy knew how to handle it. They did. And that's a picture of our tomato farm. My daddy would say, call Heinz, call Hunts, bring them in. We got to make some ketchup. But my mama was funny. And she said, you know what we need to do? We need to add a little spice. Let's make some salsa. Let's laugh. Let's have a good sense of humor. And you know what I said? I said something really dumb when I would watch all these horrible things happen and watch my daddy drag in from that tomato crop. And I'm going to share with you, do never, ever, ever say this. You see that? Never say never. Because when I matured, I realized, my goodness, I need to help my daddy help me. So I created my very own wholesale tomato business. And y'all, it was hard. It's the best job I love to hate. Does anybody have a job like that right now? And you go, oh, this is so hard. But man, I learned so many life skills. I learned about time management, hard work, a lot about ethics, that some people are not going to buy your product no matter how great it is. I learned money management. It was tough. 